you know what life lessons and T-34s have in common? They are both much heavier than you'd expect. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was very bad. Okay. We went on a holiday this week next to Lake Balaton. It was very nice. The beaches are beautiful. Nice as ever. Rated 5 out of 7. Or no, actually, I'd say 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, something like that. We went to the beach, swim, etc. Visited an old abandoned Soviet army base for whatever reason. Let's talk about that. This thing has been abandoned for 30 years and I think it's being finally fenced up and close to the public because it's really a health and safety hazard. But we managed to get in before all of that. So here's the footage. It's really not that interesting unless you are seriously into abandoned Chernobyl type stuff. However, it was a strange experience. But the place has been pretty much dropped clean since it's been sitting there for about 30 years. On our way to Topolca, we saw a military vehicle exhibition, which is actually free to visit anytime. So I've included the place in the description. The vehicles included a and a and a and whatever that is and a very small tank replica. I was also some artillery pieces. What I managed to find out is that this one is actually a T-55 and this one is a T-3485 and the armored personal carrier, I have no idea. I haven't checked. So <laughs> if you have any idea, please put it down below in the comments. I have this strange feeling about tanks and ex-military equipment because on one hand, they are usually used for one purpose, and that purpose is killing, or the intent of killing. But on the other hand, they are like difficult parts of one's life. If there is nothing learned from them, then, then what's the point? At least learn what you can. Like the engineering, for example. And so, the T-34. Take a look at the track system. It's very simple. You have pins with heads on one side. They are hammered in from the inner side of the track and held in place by nothing except friction. And when they come out too much, there is a big wedge welded to the side of the tank to push them back in, actually to hit them back in. This happens regardless the tank is driving forward or backward. It's a very simple mechanism, the simplest I've seen. And this simplicity allows it to have very few components, even though it's very rudimentary and any engineering manager would nowadays just say, that's absolutely crazy to have something like that. Simplicity means easy production in this case. Nicholas Moran, AKA the Chieftain, actually already did a very detailed tour of the T-34. So if you want more information than I have, then check out his video. Okay, this is it. Daniel, signing out.